It's not like I want to die. I don't want to die. I don't have a death wish. I'm not even adventurous, really. I mean, I don't like roller coasters. I really, I like mysteries. That's really what it's about. And, you know, legitimate mysteries. It's not like I'm chasing Bigfoot or Yeti or the Loch Ness Monster. You know, the ghost Mola Mola, there's a very real possibility there. And, uh, you know, as a scuba diver, I'm, I'm intrigued. I mean, I, it would be amazing to see the Mola Mola, let alone, like, the mysterious ghost Mola Mola. If it even exists. So we're going to Bali. And Bali's like, you know, the, as good of a place as any in the world to see the Mola Mola. So we'll, we'll see what we have ahead. But, you know, I mean, really this trip is not so much about the Mola Mola or the ghost Mola Mola. It's really about spending some time with my love, Allison. Do you love me too? I do love you too. Thanks. Thanks, baby. Holy shit, it is so fucking cold up here. <laughs> God damn, I have so many layers on, it's crazy. We just watched the sunrise from 10,000 feet, or about 3,000 and change meters. We started hiking at 1.30 in the morning to get up here for sunrise. This is Mount Ogung. It's the holiest of mountains on Bali. It was incredible. Allison was totally setting the pace. She was kicking my ass. I actually no. didn't think I was gonna make it at one point, honestly. And this is all really a lead up to the next adventure, which is searching for the ghost Mola Mola. We head to Nusa Penida, where we have a good chance of at least seeing a Mola Mola. I don't know about a ghost Mola Mola, but it's crazy. The ocean sunfish, also known as the Mola Mola, is the heaviest known bony fish in the world. It is an average adult weight of 2,200 pounds and reaches about 10 feet in length. The species is native to tropical and temperate waters around the globe. It resembles a fish head connected to a tail, almost seemingly without a body. Mola molas can be as tall as they are long when their dorsal and ventral fins are extended. Mola mola are known to live on a diet that consists mainly of jellyfish, but because this diet is nutritionally poor, they consume large amounts in order to develop and maintain their great bulk. Their known diet makes the idea of a man eating mola mola dubious, yet here is a photo of a mola mola caught off the coast of California in 1910. The estimated weight was 3,500 pounds. The legend of the ghost mola mola started in 1992. An Australian dive group of six, diving off the coast of Thailand in deep waters, allegedly came across a Mola Mola. A rare sighting, they were all excited. Joseph Rawlings, one of the divers, swam out towards it. At this point, all of the divers' stories are the same, all but that of Mr. Rawlings. His five friends say the Mola Mola slowly turned toward Mr. Rawlings, opened its mouth, and swallowed him whole. Then, within seconds, the mola didn't swim away or turn toward the rest of the divers. It literally disappeared. The story from Mr. Rawlings' perspective has never been heard. He has not been seen since. There was an investigation into the disappearance of Mr. Rawlings that proved inconclusive. This marked the beginning 
of the legend of the ghost Mola Mola. Do I believe in the ghost Mola Mola? I, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I know that there was an Australian diver in 1992. But then five years after that, there's this Japanese diver diving in Borneo. Kusawa, that's his name. So he swears, he's diving a deep wall, and he swears that he sees a 10, 12 foot mola mola in 30 feet of crystal clear water that simply disappears. Then in 2008, there's another diver disappearance. This time it's, it's an Israeli dive group. So uh, this cat, Ben Zernhel, and his friends, they're diving in Papua New Guinea. So no shark sightings that dive. But they did see a mola mola. Zernhout stays down below the boat. So he wanted to spend a little bit more time. The rest of his friends go up. Zernhout never comes back up. What happened to him? I mean, I don't know what to believe. I say this though, I mean, I, I don't die for the adventure. I don't die because for the rush of it. I mean, I die because the underwater world, it's fascinating. I mean, I, on, you know, one dive, any one dive, you can see 150 species easy of crazy looking creatures. I mean, the truth of the matter is, I mean, sharks, I, I do okay with them, but I'd prefer not to see them. I mean, that's just scary. And, uh, I mean, I'll talk a good game, that's for sure. I'll, I'll definitely talk a good game, but, you know, really, when I think about it, Bali... This is going to have a lot of scary stuff. Actually, even topside too. I'm, hey, I'm going to throw monkeys on the list. I hear they even, got, they even got flying lizards in Bali. But the ghost mola mola? I don't know. There are some interesting facts. That's all I'm saying. There are some interesting facts. We're in the sacred monkey forest in Ubud. These monkeys, they might look cute, they might look fun. They're far from it. They're dangerous, dangerous thieves. In fact, I, that's why I'm gripping this bag. In fact, I think these monkeys, honestly, they probably scare me more than anything I might find in, while scuba diving. Sharks, I can handle sharks. These monkeys, forget about it. I'm not wearing any sunglasses right now. Anything that they can rip off my body is safely stored away. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> this is Allison. Say hello, Allison. Hello. The love of my life. You blushing? A little bit. I love you too, baby. Thanks, baby. Um, so we're going to Ahmed to learn, Allison's going to learn how to scuba dive for the first time. I am, I'm very excited. You're excited? I am. Are you nervous? A little bit. You're nervous a little bit? A little bit. I do, you, do you think you'll see a, shar a shark? I don't know. Yes, no, you told me we would see sharks, right? Yeah. But friendly ones, not like eating me sharks. I, they'll probably be friendly. I don't know if they'll be friendly, but maybe hopefully they, they won't be something we have to worry about. Yeah, that would be good. Do you think, do you think you'll be scared if you see one? Um, I don't know. It might depend on when we see it, whether it's like my first dive out or whether I done a few. Probably a little. Uh-huh. Oh. 
So I consider myself an interdisciplinary fishery scientist. And again, what I do is I use multiple approaches, uh, multiple analytical approaches for um, investigating fisheries management type questions. And I, I, and when I mention when I say that, I, I mean I, I incorporate analytical approaches from psychology, economics, ecology, biology, um, general social sciences, um, and those are pretty much what I use to address the questions that I'm investigating. Yeah, just how, what are your thoughts on the, on the diversity of marine life? Yeah, this, the the diversity of marine life is is immense, and it's and it's a, a lot of it is still yet to be documented. Um, colleagues of mine are identifying new species on an annual basis, uh, especially in the Coral Triangle, which is down in the Indo Pacific and comprises of countries such as Indonesia, the Philippines, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, that that general region. Um, and it's it's said or, or noted that that area is is really kind of the the focal area where many species have have uh, diversified and, and and spread throughout the rest of the Indo Pacific. Uh, so there's there's a lot of unknown things that we are still discovering. Uh, and when I say we, I mean just the broader scientific community. So an interesting fact about about the ocean that most people don't know is that more people have actually walked on the surface of the moon. Than have been on the bottom of the deepest part and part of the ocean. We just arrived back in Ahmed, Ahmed Bali. We were just in uh, Pimuturan, diving there for a few days. On the last day at Pimuturan, we went on a night dive, uh, saw some interesting things, uh, took some great photos of the infamous stonefish, which has the most poisonous venom in the ocean. It's actually deadly to, to humans. But uh, we're going to go out this afternoon on uh, an aptly named boat, the Mola Mola. We have not seen a Mola Mola since we've been in Bali. This is actually our last day of diving, so this is our last shot. Uh, honestly, despite the fact that this is good luck diving off of the Mola Mola, I don't think we're going to see one. We see some cool stuff, the stonefish, three uh, white tip reef sharks, but you know, the infamous Mola Mola, the ghost Mola Mola, it hasn't happened so far. We'll see, we'll see.
David would have wanted me to finish the film. I know that. I can't do it. I can't do it. Turn the camera off. Turn the fucking camera off.